Scan you to Cats S7 here for episode number three of my Manchester United career mode on FIFA 16. Lads, like the last few episodes, thank you so much for the support. In the first two episodes, it's been simply amazing. First things first, lads, we are going to do a training session. Yes, that's a new feature on career mode this year on FIFA 16. Like I said in my press conference last episode, things need to be changed. So we're going to get into training right now. All right, so here we go. Training for FIFA 16 in career mode. So now we've got five players to train in this episode now I'm not too sure if you guys want me to do training every single uh, episode on FIFA or I should just simulate them all and then just show you or I should do that do that stuff in the background I'm not too sure if you comment down below but for this episode lads I'm gonna pick five players and I'm actually gonna do the training and show you guys to see how we get on right so the first player we're going to choose is none other than Anthony Martial Memphis James Wilson and uh, Herrera Luke Shaw. Right, here we go, lads. These are the five players that I'm going to train. Let's begin training. All right, son, have a crack. Marcel, keep us off his line. Lovely, go. This is pretty easy, isn't it? Let's let's not kid ourselves here. I shouldn't really be missing any of these. Nice, nice. Oh, lovely stuff. Good seconds. All right, so we're going to pin it through there. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good if I say so myself. Luke Shaw is pretty quick, so this should be pretty easy. I wouldn't say easy for him, but oh, this is pretty hard. Go straight. There we go. We're through. Come on, Luke. Come on, son. Finish. Luke Shaw with his right foot. There we go. A B. And there we go, lads. A D for Martial. An A for Wilson. A C for Memphis. An F for Ander Herrera. That was pretty disappointing. And a B for Luke Shaw. Now, like I said, lads, should I show you that nearly every episode or should I do that in my own time? Should I sim simulate it? Get the comments down below. But anyways, lads, let's get to the Capital One Cup game against Norwich. I'm completely changing up the squads, lads. Uh, here we go. Jesse Lingard out on the left. Now up front, we've got James Wilson, Ashley Young on the right. And in the cam, lads, we've got Pereira. And uh, in the midfield, lads, we've got Fellaini and Carrick. And in the US at the back, lads, we've got Daly Blitz. Lind at left pack, yeah, he can play there, left footed. Uh, anyways, we've got Paddy McNair, Phil Jones at the back, and Valencia at right back. And, I've, and we've got uh, Victor Valdez in goal. So this squad is a bit of youth and a bit of experience combined. Hopefully, lads, we can get the job done here against Norwich. All right, here we go. The first Capital One Cup game on my career mode for FIFA 16. At home to Norwich, I'm confident. I'm looking forward to seeing how these young guys go in this game. But anyways, come on, you know, I said. Let's go. All right, Wilson. Tell you what, look who's there. Jesse Lingard's got heaps of space. Jesse Lingard. Tell you what, I'm just going to strike it. Jesse Lingard just puts it wide. All right, we're going to free kick with Michael Carrick. And we're going to put it on Fellaini's head. Hopefully, he can get something on it. Come on. No, Ashley Young. Oh, Ashley Young with the header. <laughs> It's in 11 minutes into that game, Ashley Young. Not gonna lie, totally aiming for Marin Fellaini. I said it to you guys, but Ashley Young with the header. Get in, Ash. Get in, lads. Great start. 1-0 up. All right, here we go, Jarvis. Oh, no. Houlihan's in behind. Houlihan. Oh, how did he not bury that? Come on, win that. Lovely stuff, Wilson. All right, let's go, Ashley Young. Fellaini, lay it off, son. Carrick, he's got a room. Carrick, can you play in someone? Carrick, he just couldn't play in somebody. Oh, well done, Paddy McNair. Well done. The future is looking good at the back for United. Tell you what, pretty impressed with him. Pereira, come on, playing Jesse Lingard. He's got that. He's got the pace too. Jesse Lingard playing Wilson. Wilson on the volley. Wilson. Oh, what's that goal? That would have been. Tell you what, the youth. Is looking good for Manchester United, that must be said. Half time, half time, half time. That must be said, lads, we are playing much better in this game than the last few games. We've had some chances, only got the one goal, but I'm fairly happy. It's the best start we've had to a game on FIFA 16. All right, lads, 10 minutes to go. Let's not concede a corner here, for God's sake. Let's get this out. Fellaini again, he's a boss of those hitters, isn't he? Tell you what, we're away here. Wilson. Play in Jesse Lingard, who is knackered. Look how tired he is. Oh, he's won it. Jesse Lingard. All right, come on, Jesse. 
Come on. How naked are you? Shoot, mate. Shoot. Oh, my God. How did you not score that? Oh, mate. He's won a corner, though. Ashley Young to take it to Paddy McNair. What the hell was that all about? Looked like a bit of a glitch, didn't it? Valencia. Goal of the season. Antonio Valencia doesn't even make it to the keeper. But I'll tell you what. Wilson's won it. Wilson, finish. Deflection. Oh, James Wilson. Here we go, lads. The full time whistle has gone. We're through to the next round. 1-0 win. To be honest, lads, we should have scored more goals there. But as well, Norwich did have a few good chances. Very happy the way we played in this game. We're through to the next round. That's the most important thing. All right, so as we take a look at the stats there, even game possession-wise, but compared to the shots, we absolutely mauled them. We just couldn't get many on target. And man of the match goes to none other than Ashley Young, who uh, scored the winner in the end. But throughout the game, he played really well, in my opinion. All right, lads, we are back in the Premier League. And now we are away to Swansea in a difficult game. Sticking with this 4-3-3 formation, Memphis, Rooney, Mata are up top. And in the middle, lads, we've got Schweinsteiger, Schneiderlin, and Herrera. And at the back, lads, we've got Luke Shaw, Rojo, Smalling, Damian, and of course, De Gea in goal. All right, here we go at the Liberty Stadium in Wales. Swansea are a very, very good side. Uh, we're going to really have to be at our, our best today if we're going to take all three points, but... You never know what's possible. Come on, United. Let's take it to Swansea as they take an early shot. And boy, what a start. Come on, lads. Bastian Swansteiger finds Rooney. Come on, son. All right, here we go. Can we create something? Ah, oh, Wayne Rooney. It's so hard to beat a player on world class. It really is. Here we go. Schweinsteiger. Have a look at this. Schneiderlin. Back to Schweinsteiger. Tell you what, my tongue's hurting from saying that. Rooney, let's go. Ah, oh, come on, Rooney. You've got to do better there, son. And I tell you what, that's good pressure. Good stuff there. Uh-oh. Sigurdsson. John Joe Shelby. Tell you what, he has got a rocket on that right peg. John Joe Shelby. He is definitely one to look out for. And I tell you what, that wasn't that far away, you know. Damian sees Herrera. This is good. Plays in Rooney. Tell you what, can you go back to Herrera? And uh, Herrera. Oh, good save. Go, Herrera. Yes! What's a goal? And uh, Herrera, the man we trained at the start of the episode, played a lovely one-two with Wayne Rooney. Keep a bit unfortunate not to save it, but Wayne Rooney giving the through ball to Ander Herrera. What a tidy finish. Get in, son. Here we go, lads. Half time, 1-0. We don't really deserve that lead. It was a real tight, you know, intense battle. You know, like a, like the previous games, you know, the passes have been sprayed everywhere. Bad touches. I tell you what, it's a real battle in the midfield. And we were lucky at the end, just before half time. What an important time to score a goal too. But lads, massive second half now. Damian sees Mata. Look at Mata running forward. Come on, Juan. Beat your opponent. You can. There we go. Mata. Look at this. Herrera. Back post. Rooney. Rooney. Oh, what a punch from the keeper. Cleared the danger. Oh, jeez. That's a lovely ball. Gomez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So Gertsen. What a save from De Gea. Come on, lads. Lift. All right, lads. Making some subs. Bringing on Anthony Martial and Antonio Valencia. Tell you what. We're going to be in a bit of danger here, I reckon. Come on. Stop the cross. Luke Shaw. Can you get there? You can't. Smalling. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So Gertsen almost put it in over De Gea. What a chance that was for Swansea. Mata to Martial. He's got a few to beat here. Anthony Martial. Look at this. Look at the pace from the youngster. Anthony Martial. Can he finish? No. Yes. No. Rooney. Win that. Come on, Schneiderlin. Hit that. Oh, what a save. Anthony Martial that close to getting his first goal for Man United. What a save from the keeper as well. Lovely stuff. And away we go. Surely we should win this now. Matter. Give it to Vin There we go, lads. The full time goes. We take all three points here to uh, today at Swansea. What a hard, difficult game that was. Whew, I feel relieved. But good performance all round. 50-50, even game. We walk away three points. I'm so pleased about that. We go back-to-back -back wins in this episode. Let's go check out the stats. So as we take a look at the stats today, Swansea absolutely demolished us when it comes to possession. There's no getting around that. 
They had more shots as well. But we had five shots and uh, five on target. They only had the one shot on target. But we won one nil. That's the mo that's the biggest stat I'm looking at the most. But anyways, let's go take a look at the player ratings. As we can see there, Wayne Rooney is man of the match. So as we take a look at the league table, guys, after four games, we are in fifth position. Chelsea on top, Leicester just behind them, Arsenal third, Southampton. But we're only two points off top spot from Chelsea. So I'm pretty happy with the season, uh, the way it's unfolding at the minute. And we're still undefeated, so pretty wrapped about that. So here we are for the end of the episode recap. Now... I just wanted to touch on something very, very quickly before this episode ends, and that is that I've been reading the comments down below, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support, but I just want to touch on something you guys have been saying. A lot of you guys have been saying, you know what, what I've got going on here, my idea for the uh, pre- and uh, post-match press conferences is a really special idea, and I really agree, but I shouldn't be using it every single game because you guys are going to get bored of it very, very quickly. And I agree. I sat back and I thought about it. I thought, you know what? You're probably right. I should save it for the big games. I should save it for the important games. So, you know, I'm not going to do it every single game. I'm just going to wait for the big game. So, obviously, towards the end of the season, you're going to see more and more of it. And obviously, now, at the start of the season, you're going to see a bit less. So, uh, thank you guys so much for the feedback. Um, you know, I know a lot of you guys say you want the episodes a little bit shorter, you know, about that 18, 19, 20 minutes is a bit too long, you know, try and condense it. So I'm trying to do what's best for everybody at the minute. But first things first, lads, thank you guys so, so much. If you could drop a like on the episode, that would be muchly appreciated. And if you're new, you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on any social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those links are in the description. But anyways, I'm your boy, Kurt at 7. Take care. Huh, boots? Get your questions in this evening. Here we go. James here from Sky Sports. G'day, James. What impact 